Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about K-map for three variables. K-map for three variables is used for minimization of Boolean function of three variables. We know that three variables can form eight min terms. So a K-map for three variables has eight squares, one for each min term. Now look at this K map for three variables x, y and z. Columns are labeled by y, z and rows are labeled by x. Now look at these binary numbers. They are written in reflected code sequence. In this uh, sequence, uh, the next number is up and uh, is differ from previous number only by one bit right now look at these two numbers it is the previous and it is the next they are differ only by one bit here this uh, first bit is zero and here this first bit is one now these binary numbers represents the value of variables now this bit represents the first bit represents the value of y and second bit represents the value of z. If the bit is zero, then uh, it represents the variable in its complement form. If it is one, then it represents the variable in its normal form. Now here the zero represents x in its complement form and one represents x in its normal form. Now, min term corresponding to the squares of the k map can be obtained by concatenating the label of rows with the label of column of the square. Now, look at this square. We need its min term. So, what will we do? We will concatenate its label of row that is x0 with the label of column that is y0 z0 so it has become x0 y0 z0 so this square represents the main term x0 y0 z0 now the binary number which is associated with the main term which is represented by the square can also be obtained in the same way by concatenating the number which labels the row with the number which labels the column. Now look at this square. When we concatenate uh, the number which label its row that is zero with the number which label its column that is zero one then it will become zero zero one so the decimal value of that number is one so it represents the main term m1 right now how we can minimize the function by this k map First of all, we will mark the squares of K map whose main terms are included in the function. Suppose we have to minimize this function. So first of all, what will we do? We will mark the squares whose main terms are included in the function. Now in this function, it, uh, there are three variables involved, x, y, and z. And this function is the sum of min terms m0, m4, m3, and m7. m0 is represented by this square. M4 is represented by this square, M3 is represented by this square, and M7 is represented by this square. Now we will 
make groups of adjacent squares. So here the two groups will be formed. One is this one and the second is this one. Now look for the binary variables which are common in the squares of a same group. Now in this uh, group we have to see which variables are common in all squares of this group. Here only two variables will be common. Why is that? So we have written yz here. Now in this group of squares only two variables will be common in all squares of this group that is y0 z0. So this term will y0 z0 will also be included in the function. So the function has become y0 z0 plus yz. One more thing, we will assume that this column is adjacent to this column. That means this square is adjacent to this square and this square is adjacent to this square. So when we make group of uh, adjacent squares we will remember this thing that this column and this column they both are adjacent to each other now suppose we have to minimize this boolean function f which is of three binary variables x y and z so first of all we will make a map of three binary variables x y and z now here f is equals to x not y not z plus x not y z plus x y z not plus x y not z not so first of all we will mark the squares of this map whose main terms are included in the function f now this square its uh, row is labeled by x naught and column is labeled by y naught z. So it represents the main term x naught y naught z. This square has row labeled by x naught and column is labeled by y z. So it represents the main term x naught y z. Right. This square represents the main term x y z naught. This square represents the main term x, y0, z0. So I, I have marked all squares whose main terms are included in the function by 1. Now I have to form groups of adjacent squares. One group is this one. It is of two adjacent squares. Second is this one. These two squares are also adjacent because in, uh, in three variable k map we assume that leftmost column is adjacent to the rightmost column. So this square is adjacent to this square. So it also forms a group. Now we have to find the variables which are common in all squares of same group now in this group variable x naught is common to both squares of this group in this group we have only two squares and x naught is common in these two squares and z is also common in these two squares so what term will be formed x not z and this term will be included in the function f now in these two squares right x is common and z not is also common so the second term which is formed is 
x z naught. So the function f is equals to x naught z plus x z naught. Now look at this function. It is also of three binary variables so x, y, and z. Here this function f equals to x naught y naught z plus x naught y z plus x y naught z plus x y z. Now we have to minimize this function f. First of all, make a k map for three binary variables x, y, and z and mark the squares whose min terms are included in this function. This square represents the min term x naught y naught z. This square represents the min term x naught y z. This square represents the min term x y naught z. This square represents the min term x y z. So I have marked the squares whose min terms are included in the function by 1. Now I have to form the group of adjacent squares. Now here only one group is formed which is of 4 adjacent squares. Now I have to find the variables which are common in all squares of this group. Now here only z is common in all squares of this group. So the function would be equal to z. Now suppose I have to minimize this function f which is of three binary variables x, y and z and it is the sum of these min terms m0, m2, m4, m5, m6. Now first of all what I will do, I will make a map of three binary variables x, y, z because I have to minimize this function and I will mark the squares by 1 whose min terms are included in this function that is m0, right, m2, m4, m5, m6, right. Now after marking the squares, I will form group of squares, right. Now the numbers of squares which form a group should be represented in the form of 2 raised to power something, right. It means the number of squares in a group should be like this 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. So one group is formed of these four adjacent squares, right? This one, this one, this one, this one, right? Second group is formed of these two adjacent squares. Now, first of all, we will find the common binary variable in the square of uh, in the group of these four adjacent squares. Right. In this group, which is of these four adjacent square, only one variable is common, that is z naught. So it is included in the function z naught. Now in this group, which is of two squares, right? This group is of two squares. Here, x is common, right? As well as y naught is also common. So the term which is formed is x y naught. It is also included in the function. So the function will be the sum of two terms, z naught and x y naught. So f equals to z naught plus x y naught. Thank you very much.